Okay, I'm going to show you how to do a left and right cable cross using six stitches going in the right-handed direction. So typically what you want to do is you want to start off with a purl. One. Then you want to e-wrap six. And you're going to do that for three rows. So here's one. Two. three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to purl one, okay? You're gonna do that for three rows and then you'll end up doing a prep row, okay? Let's so pause the video and get your three rows done and then we'll do our prep row and then we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, so we want to do a prep row for our six stitch, all right? And so you pull one, and you e-wrap one, and then you double, and then you double e-wrap the four stitches. Sorry. Okay, you double e-wrap the four stitches, all right? So, you one, two, toss the bottom loop over. Then you go one, two, and you toss the bottom loop over. And you go one, two, toss the bottom loop over. And then one, two, toss the bottom loop over. And then e wrap one, and then purl one. Okay, so you purl one, e wrap one, then double e wrap the peg, toss the bottom loop over on the next four stitches, and then e wrap one. So you should have singles and then doubles and you're going to spread that tension out okay so that's how you prep for either the right-handed or the left-handed crossing of the six stitch okay so possibly you get that much done and we'll come back okay so we are now ready to do a cable crossing for the six stitch and you want to release those four middle top wraps Okay, and then you're going to spread the tension out across the six stitches. Okay, all right, so gonna spread it out. All right, there's a little too much there. Okay, you see, spread that tension out among the six stitches. All right, so. You're going to purl one, and then we're going to be doing a right cable cross. So, what you want to do is you want to pick up, okay, you want to pick up stitch three, four, I mean three, two, and one. Sorry, it's backwards again. <laughs> All right, and you place those stitches in the middle. All right, making sure your working yarn goes in front. Then you okay. So you want the working yarn to go in front of the stitch holder, and you want to e wrap pegs four, five, and six. All right, and you're going to toss the bottom loops over. All right, you're going to do it in that order. All right. Okay, so you're going to move stitch four over to stitch one. Then you're going to move stitch five over to stitch two, I mean peg two, and stitch six over to peg three. Make sure that your working yarn is in front. I feel completely all over the place today. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten up those three stitches. All right, now. What we want to do is we want to take and place stitch one and place it on peg four. All right. So stitch one gets placed on peg four, and then stitch two gets placed on peg five. All right. 
And these are going to be really stretched. This is going to be the hardest one, okay? And so stitch and then stitch three gets placed on peg six. All right. That's the reason why you do the wrap two times on all four stitches so that when you go to put the stitches back on. Now, I will tell you that it will be more difficult on a larger gauge. This is about the best gauge to work with if you're going to do cables, particularly ones that are higher than um, higher than four. You're going to go into six, then you want to use this gauge, okay? So that is how you do a six stitch right cable cross in the right handed direction. And now I'm just going to purl my intermittent stitches, okay? All right, so now we want to do a six stitch cable cross in the left handed direction, and I always find it a little easier, okay? So release those top stitches on all four of those pegs, all right? And then you want to disperse that tensioning across the six pegs, all right? So you're going to pull there, and pull there, and pull there, and pull there, okay. And that tensioning should be easily dispersed, all right? So what you want to do is you want to skip pegs one, two, and three, and you want to erupt pegs four, five, and six. Toss the bottom loops over. All right, and then what you want to do is you want to place stitches four, five, and six onto the stitch holder. And you want to pick those stitches up and place them into the middle of the loom, making sure your working yarn goes in front. Then you're going to wrap pegs one, two, and three in that order because you're going to be picking up and shifting over. All right, so you want to rewrap them in that order. Okay, so then you're going to take and you're going to move stitch three to peg six. Then you're going to move stitch two to peg five and stitch one to peg four. All right, then you're going to take and move Stitch. Let's make sure it's right. Okay. Then you're going to take and move stitch six. Let me make sure these are in there correct. Right. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to move stitch six. Take it off and you're going to place it on peg three. And then you're going to take and move a stitch five and place it on peg two. Okay. Then you're going to move stitch four and place it on peg one. All right. Then you need to go in and tighten up the stitches. So here, one, two, and three. And then you want to go in and tighten up all the way across. And this is how you do a left cable cross in the right-handed method with six stitches, all right? So you repeat that over and over and over again. Now, when you finish, you may need to go in and adjust the tensioning so it doesn't have such a stretched look and loose look. And I've had to do that before um, when doing the six stitches. So that's generally what they look like when you're done, um, but sometimes you have to go in and adjust the stitches so they look a little more even. But I usually like to stretch in one direction, stretch in the other, and start evening out the uh, stitch tensioning. Okay. And um, I can show you how that's done, but that is how you do a six stitch right and left cable cross from the right-handed direction.